Hi everyone, I'm Robert Joseph and this is a Robert Joseph Sewing Update. Okay, so first off, it's been a while since I've talked to you. The last few months have been kind of uh, weird for me. So I know I haven't been doing a lot of uploading uh, new patterns, but I'm gonna be working on that uh, uh, through the end of the year. So what I have been um, busy doing is kind of getting my house ready to bring people in to teach them sewing. And I'm just gonna be doing it one-on-one -on -one, uh, for right now. And if the demand grows here where I live, then I'll be looking for a storefront to move into where I can actually put my alterations business in there as well. So um, I just wanna let you know a couple of uh, big things. Well, one, the main thing is if you're already a subscriber and get the notifications, you should have gotten the notifications that I have uploaded some new videos. Now, these are not uh, garment videos, uh, how-tos or tutorials. They're actually just general sewing tutorials. And some of you actually subscribed to the school I tried to start about a year ago where it was called Apparel Arts Academy, um, and I still own that .com, um, and I'm actually trying to turn that into a blog, but that's taking so much time, and I felt like I have all of these videos ready to go, um, I, and I need to upload them to YouTube anyway, so that's what I've done. Now, these sewing videos are aimed for the student that wants to go into the fashion or apparel production environment, so the sewing tutorials are actually just sewing samples. So the sewing samples are basically just small pieces of fabric. It's about uh, six by nine inches or six by eight inches of fabric that we use to do the basic seams. And I have a uh, samples book here. This is actually what you'll be working on. And you can see here in the book that it's just full of all of the different samples that are actually in uh, what I consider a level one sewing. So you'll be working on all of the samples that are in this book. That's what I have uploaded for level one. Um, by this time, by the time you're probably watching this, all of the level one sample videos have been uploaded. So if you're not sure where to start, um, there is a table of contents and I have put this image up on my sewitlikeaman.com website and there is a link up at the top where all of the other um, navigation links are that says Apparel Arts Academy. Click on that link and you can actually buy all of the basic patterns for the level one sewing. Now you don't necessarily have to have these patterns. I don't believe there's anything in here where you actually need a specific type of pattern um, except for maybe the pockets um, so most of them are running uh, you'll need squares of fabric about six inches by nine inches so the pattern set however costs uh, about five dollars but you can get the table of contents because i've uploaded the table of contents picture if you want to follow through now if you're on youtube and you want to go through these uh, exercises you can follow them. The way I've done them is here I have stitching practice, seams and finishes, bias, hems, pockets, and zippers. And those are all the categories that are here in level one sewing. So uh, all of these will be searchable on the YouTube playlist. Search for AAA l1 and that is in the title of all of the level one uh sewing exercises for the samples um, and if you do all of them then you will have a terrific notebook of samples for you to refer back to now this is also meant for pretty much the very beginner and there are some exercises that seem kind of boring where we're just kind of doing plain seams and some basic seam finishes but i'm going to tell you that you know um having a notebook like this and having this done is really going to help you say if you want to go into teaching somebody else how to sew. Now there's one thing about this I want to mention. Um, there is also another level of the sewing videos which are very basic. Um, I go over 
uh, sewing machine orientation, both industrial and home sewing, um, as, f uh, as well as basic textiles, um, needles, your threads, all of those are also up there. And those titles will have, you can search by it, AAA, L zero. So I consider those a level zero because that's all the basic things that you need to know before you actually get to the sewing machine and sewing the samples. So all of level one has been uploaded and I plan to upload level two, which is a little bit more advanced, uh, hopefully by the end of October 2021. So they should be there. there now there are links to, the, to buy the pattern set um, directly in the um, description boxes of all of the exercises so if you're not sure where to get the pattern there is a link to those patterns all right so that's the major thing so basically i'm teaching you how to sew do by doing the sewing samples uh for free right and understand that these uh videos like a lot of my other videos are very long because I'm not showing you how to do something, I'm teaching you how to do something. So, and this is like what it would be like if you were in a college level class, sewing class um, in a fashion program. So understand that your instructors basically have an hour or more of lecture time to teach you how to do something and then the rest of the class period is lab time for you to actually work on your projects. So when I was teaching, I was seeing my students uh, every day, that's Monday through Friday, for about four and a half to five hours a day. I had one hour lecture and then three and a half hours of lab time. So um, understand that when you're going to go into the fashion or apparel industry, especially in the production environment there's a lot of information that you're going to need to learn so I try to provide you with a lot of that information so also as a side note for those of you who may not want to do it in production I will be doing some of those exercises um, on a home sewing machine so look for those videos and I will probably have home sewing edition or something in the title like that but I'll let you know when I get to that so that's the major thing. So you'll be seeing uploads coming out over the next week. Okay, so what do I have next on my list here? Okay, so um, new patterns. I do have some new patterns. Um, I know I've noticed that some people were buying the leggings, so I'm trying to get out a new um, legging pattern out that has a side seam so we can put pockets in it and things like that. Also something that's more similar to maybe what we would call a long john um, with a fly opening. I'm working on that. I'd like to get out a robe pattern. I have to do some uh, a pattern for a regular house robe. So I'm working on that. I'm really trying to get some of these done so that everything is out there um, by November or at least there by the middle of November, okay? So, um, and I know it's been kind of slow. I think I just kind of had a pattern block for a little bit and that's why I really wasn't doing um, a lot of uploading of patterns. So I'm really trying to work on it. Understand that when I do or design a new pattern, I really kind of take my time. I do a ton of samples and so I'm having to buy fabric and, and getting fabric at a decent price is really tough. So I go through multiple uh, samples to make sure it's fit right and now I'm working with kind of a fit model but I have to send them um, to California and then we do a zoom fit session um, and then I correct the patterns and we go through it all over again so it just uh, takes a process um, and then I have to buy the fabric and stuff so know that you're getting a really good deal for eight dollars and I haven't raised the price on my patterns yet um, but I think eight dollars is a pretty good price um, especially for all the work that I do to get um, you these patterns Okay, so what's um, next? Oh, oh, so uh, going back to the sewing tutorials um, for the samples as far as what I just mentioned before for the uh, sewing level one, that's all for woven fabrics. So your cottons, anything that doesn't stretch, um, that's basically what you can, uh, these samples are for. So I will be doing a knit sewing level one, two um, course as well. I'm kind of developing that. So that has to do with um, sewing on your serger or I call it an overlock. You're gonna hear the overlock, uh, the word overlock in the, uh, sewing course because we use that to finish the seam seam edges. 
So um, I will try to remember to say overlock serger so that you don't get confused. So I want to do really working with Nick Cut and Sew and talk to you more about overlock serging and how you use that when a double needle is appropriate and when a single needle is appropriate. So, and also I will bring in the cover stitch machine, which you started seeing me do in some of my videos. So um, I don't really have much more uh, for, or I do have more, I kind of caught myself. So I know some of you have uh, following me, are following me on Instagram. Um, my tongue is getting a little tight, uh, tight right now. Um, but I posted that I was going to be doing these print on demand um, jock straps. Now I just got a sublimation printer um, and I've been working with it, learning how to do it. And I can only print right now eight and a half by 11. So that's why I'm only able to do like the jock straps. So this is the contoured. Um, but what I've decided is I know, <laughs> I don't think people are too excited about my branded um, uh, waistband here. So I'm going to go back to just rolling the waistband here. This is a white one I'm going to be using for um, the mock-ups for when you send me in your images. Now understand, I will have that all that information up on my website and I'll let you know as soon as I'm able to do that. Um, so because the images that you send me will have to be fairly small so that I can create an all over pattern to actually be printed on this um, guy. So I'll have, probably have three styles. This is the contoured uh, jock strap. I'm going to have the basic jock strap. And then let me see, where do I have? I have another one, the T thong, the T back thong. I'll be able to do that as well. So I'm also going to be able uh, uploading some ready-made apparel. So I have lots of fabric, mostly like in these laces. So this is the tea back um, thong and I'm, it just takes a lot of time to actually get this up. I have all the pictures done. I just need to do some corrections um, and sizing and get these up on the mannequin. And unfortunately I don't have a physical human being as a model right now maybe hopefully in the future i can look um, into that but right now everything is going up on my mannequin that little torso that a lot of you like and i don't remember where i got it i got it somewhere um probably in la down on um i don't know uh down in the fabric district somewhere where they have all of the mannequin shops so um I have lots of these lace um, different colors, pinks and greens and things like that. So I will post those as soon as I can. I'll let you know on my Instagram account when they're available for shipping. Unfortunately, you won't be able to shop right on Instagram because um, this is apparently against their guidelines because it's too sexy. Um, but I don't know how some other people get away with it, but they're not letting me for some reason. So I will let you know when they are ready in my shop. Okay. So that's what I am planning. Um, also, you know, send me, um, I've been getting some ideas. I, I want you to send me your ideas for patterns. Sometimes I get blocked a little bit. Just know that I have actually a lot of stuff in works and I'm trying to get it out, but it does take a lot of time. And I do have clients here in my town for alterations. Um, and now with the holidays coming up, I'm hoping that that business here will actually kind of grow. So um, that's actually kind of a lot. I've, I felt like I've talked a lot and this has probably been longer than I thought it was going to be. So this is the October 2021 update. So again, all of the level one sewing exercises are up. And for those of you who are beginner sewers or want to work more on your different seam types, finishes, there's also a railroad zipper in there. Um, check out those videos and learn to sew. And with that, sew well and be well.